Welcome back to my channel. Honestly, tell me when the last time I filmed a video here was because I don't remember. It has been a minute since I filmed a video in front of this. But I wanted to do a chit chat, get ready with me, just to kind of talk to you guys, fill you guys up. Even though I have been vlogging a lot, um, there's like a, there's still a little bit of a disconnect, even though you guys like see my day all the time now. Um, there's still like something just missing. You know what I mean? And I think these really do a great job at doing that. Honestly, I have not been this full beat in probably months, so it's kind of crazy to have this much makeup on right now, but I feel like I kind of look like myself again, but I also feel like I don't look like myself right now. Do you guys like know what I mean? If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Um, yeah, just subscribe. It's somewhere around here, and if you want to click the bell, you can. I don't know if that actually does anything, but my mom, the other day, like, didn't get notified when I uploaded a video. My mom. You know my mom, like, watches my videos like crazy, right? Alright, so let's get on to the video. Now that I have my like bandana hair mask thing on and I look crazy, we're good to start. So, I got this new swell. Isn't this so cute? I love new swells because it makes me drink water. My friend Emily, um, Emily June, she works at Milk and she sent me a few of their stuff. So, Em, if you're watching this, Thank you so much. So yeah, this is the Milk Makeup Blur Stick, and um, it seems to me that it's like act, it acts as a primer. I'm not gonna put this everywhere. Okay, well, I don't know if it blurred anything, but um, it was fun to put on. This is um, Makeup Fiber HD Ultra Foundation Stick. I've said before that I don't really like this stick. It kind of breaks me out a little bit. This is a MAC 130. This brush is so cute. I have been so go, go, go with like fitness and spinning and my like health regimen lately that I have not sat down <clears throat> to glam in so long. It's been crazy. It makes me a little sad. But at the same time, it makes me view makeup like differently. Does that make, like, I don't know how to make that sound not bad. I mean, I still love it just as much. I just don't look at it how I used to. I don't, I don't even know how I used to look at it. I think I used to look at makeup as like, I had to have it on to feel good about myself and to feel pretty. But now I've just sort of like learned to embrace my natural beauty. And um, I really like my face without makeup on. So I found that I've caught myself less putting myself down, um, which I think is really important. And um, I've learned to not be dependent on my makeup, which is also something that I realized through, this is the Chanel Tan de Soleil powder. Um, I've realized that through being much more natural with my makeup, how much I was depending on my makeup. And that's not a bad thing if you are, but I just didn't know that I was until I stopped wearing so much of it and kind of took a little hyenas from like a big glam. Now don't get me wrong, I was still wearing makeup. Um, I was just wearing it a lot less and when I would wear makeup, it would, it wasn't like a full beat. Yeah, like I was wearing a full face still, but I wasn't like, I had a routine that I liked and I thought I looked good in and it was like a normal person's makeup routine. Do you know what I mean? Like it wasn't like I stopped wearing makeup or anything like that. It was just more like normal makeup. Yeah, I guess normal makeup. Like I wasn't being like Nikki tutorials every day of my life. And don't get me wrong, it is fun to be Nikki tutorials every day of your life. This is going on a tangent and I don't mean it to. You guys know, I talk about this all the time, but like David Dobrik's vlogs, like they're just sneaky. They get you. They really like pull you in every single video. It's like, I just have to watch one more. Like how can you not? It's only um, four minutes and 20 seconds. Like you have you have four minutes and 20 seconds. All of, all of us do. He is sneaky, that David Dobrik. That's how he gets us all. I don't have my proper under eye brush. It's downstairs, so I'm using a MAC 227 to set my under eyes. Kind of thoroughly enjoying it. 
I really like this powder when you're not taking pictures in it. This is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Translucent Powder. Um, it is so amazing. I think, like if I remember correctly, I think this is made with like actual silk in it. And it really does like erase your pores, but it has horrible flashback. So if you bake with this, or if you plan on taking any flashback photography, it's horrible, do not use it. I'm dying without my spray tans. I'm getting one tomorrow. Good, now that my base is on, I am human yet again. All right, let me get these brows on. How about we just talk for a minute about how the fact that Bryson Tiller dropped this album on us. Like, um, hello, light of my life. Like, thank you so much. Sometimes you don't even know that you need a blessing in your life until you get it. Yo, who remembers David Archuleta? Like, <clears throat> I had such a crush on him. Every time he would come on American Idol, I would get butterflies in my stomach, my little eight-year-old self washing. You know that tweet where it's like, quote this tweet and stand up for what you believe in? I stand up for Clay Aiken. You know, if you put a little concealer under your brows, it'll hide the fact that you haven't gotten them waxed in over a year. All right, so I'm using the Morphe 350 palette today. Um, this was the prom makeup look that I did my senior year. Um, so I'll just link that blog down below because this isn't like a toot, it's more like a get ready with me. So um, I'm not really gonna like walk through it step by step, but it's so simple. I texted my mom today and I was like, love you, miss you. And she was like, what's wrong? And I'm like, nothing, I just love you and I miss you. And then she's like, oh, okay, guess what I just did? I just booked us a trip to Hawaii. I'm like, because I said I love you and I miss you? No, it's, um, it's for my grandma's birthday in February. She was born in Hawaii and she was raised in Hawaii until the Pearl Harbor attack. And it's actually a really cool story. Where she grew up was under attack. They wanted to get out of Hawaii. So they wanted to go to California, but um, planes like weren't an option then, I guess. Um, so they took the first boat that they could to get out of Hawaii and go to California. And it was actually a boat that was carrying soldiers. So the Japanese were aiming missiles at that boat that my grandma and her family was on. So um, yeah, they had like Japanese boats surrounding their boat and trying to take it down. But she survived it and uh, now she's my grandma and now we're going back to Hawaii. We've, they go to Hawaii all the time. Well, my grandparents did. My, um, my grandma is the wife of my grandfather that just passed away. So this is going to be our first trip to Hawaii without him. So I'm glad that we're all going. It'll be my first time to Hawaii. I know my grandma probably would have wanted my grandpa to be there for the trip and I know I do too, but he shall be there in spirit and it'll be really fun. Is anyone like obsessed with Shut the Kale Up or is it just me? Because I like seriously, like I idolize that woman. I want so badly for her to like be my aunt or my mom or something. And I also just want her to invite me over for like a home cooked meal because I just want to like taste her cooking. Like, oh, AJ and Elliot are lucky men. They just get to have her cooking all the time. Elliot's gonna go to a friend's house and gonna be like, my mom's gonna be like, oh, you want Kraft mac and cheese? And he's like, what's that? <laughs> like, he's gonna be like, I'm used to eating mushrooms and all this good stuff. And what is Kraft mac and cheese? <laughs> Who else cried out of Keisha's vlog when she gave birth? Because I did. I cried a lot. <laughs> like, no shame. I cried so much. All right, let's see if she still has it in her to wing it. She's still got it. You know what? Let me take a sip out of my new swell. Oh, I love a new swell. The lashes today are, I think they're Ardell Demi 120s. I think I'm ready to jump out the window. Ooh, you know what I wanna get? I wanna get Queen Bees by Coco Lashes, I think they are, or maybe I mixed it up. I don't know, but I saw Alina wear them at BeautyCon and I was like, give me those lashes. Like I was literally about to take them off her eye and put them onto my eye because I was so in love with them when I first saw them. I was like, holy amazing. Those are the lashes I've been looking for my whole life. Oh Lord. Does anyone else think Jenna Marbles can pull off red hair better than like anyone I've ever seen? I just watched her video where she dyed her hair herself and literally it looks like so good. Also, don't ask me for a hair twirl because I just got back from the hair salon. I had to get like two tape-ins retaped because they were like sliding out because I sweat like every day of my life um, profusely. So I was like, I need a little help. So, um, and it was my friend. So I was like, when you're done, if you just want to like curl my hair too, like I won't complain. I also want to share something really cool. So when I first started with makeup, the one brand that 
I always wanted and I would always talk about was Mac um, because I started when Mac was like the brand like a lot of the other brands were like they were all there they were all like really cool but like Mac was the brand to get. So um, when I first started collecting makeup and wearing makeup and stuff I only wanted Mac uh, and I would order a bunch of elf stuff and dupe it as Mac all the time but obviously it wasn't the same so uh, at the time a Mac single eyeshadow was $13 and I was like, honestly, $13 is not that bad for a single eyeshadow. Like, I'm just going to do it one day. So the first one that I ever bought was Woodwinks. And when I say I spent all my money at MAC, I literally mean I spent all of my money at MAC. MAC was like it for me. And then the other day on Instagram, MAC Cosmetics, like the Instagram, messaged me. And they were like, hi, like, um, what's your PR? Like, what's your address? We want to send you stuff. So I clicked on it to make sure it wasn't like fake or anything and it was like legit. So I sent them my address and honestly I wasn't really expecting anything to come out of it because I get emails like that sometimes, sometimes you get stuff, sometimes you don't. So I wasn't really expecting to get anything but I got a package and it made me so grateful because I was so in love with MAC and they were just like my, my ride or dies, like I just loved them so much and now they knew who I was enough to send me a package like it was just crazy to me that like they would do that I don't know like it just comes so full circle and it just makes me so grateful for you guys for watching me because if I didn't have um, followers and supporters honestly they wouldn't reach out to me do you guys know what I mean so all of you guys just make it possible for me to like live out my dream like little Seventh grade, eighth grade me is like crying on the inside because Mac Cosmetics reached out to me and sent me a limited edition collection. Thank you guys so much for watching this and also just thank you for the journey that you guys provide me. You guys know I love you guys so much. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see my last video, that is right here. And if you guys want to see my last fitness video, that is right here. I love you guys so much. Have a good one. Bye. So my foundation is done, my brows are done, and my eyes are primed. If you guys want to see my brow routine, click right now on the screen. Okay, so I'm going to go in with a 217 by MAC and the shade Soft Brown. And this is a very crucial, crucial shade. Please do not forget this. It will help with a nice gradient, gradual flow. And somehow, I got a pimple on the inner of my eye. I don't really know. Then I'm going to go in with texture and that same brush. And with this, what I'm going to do is put it in the lower crease. And again, this will create the beautiful blending gradient without actually having to do a ton of blending. Okay, me. Now I'm going to go in with a synthetic brush and a white eyeshadow base. This one is by NYX. And I'm going to pack this all over the lid and bring it all the way up to the crease because I kind of want the shadows to show onto my crease when my eyes are open since I have pretty hooded eyelids. Now I'm going to take a flat shader brush and Fix Plus spray that a little bit and go in with Silk Teddy from the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette. And I love, love, love this palette. And love 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 this color this is going on the inner half then on the outer half I'm going to take a golden shade and honey pot and put this like I said on the outer half and just rotate the blush brush what am I saying to blend it and then blend 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 with the 217 moving right along I need my coffee then I'm gonna go in with this tapered crease brush and this shade cranberry by Mac so, so gorgeous. This is going to add a little bit of color to the look and a little bit of femininity. Is that a word? I don't really know. I'm just going to apply this into the crease and then kind of drag it up and blend it. But I did want it to be a little bit darker, so I'm now going to take a pencil brush and the shade Sketch, which is so pretty. I live for Sketch by MAC. And this is going in the very, very outer V. And then, of course, taking the brush, dragging that out, flipping it back to the tapered crease brush, and blending 
blending it all once again. The key to this look, ladies and gentlemen, is to blend. Now I'm gonna take this champagne shade from a Makeup Forever palette. Loving that palette. I don't know the name of it, but it'll be linked down below. And I'm applying this right underneath my brow bone, and oh, what a difference that makes. Now I'm gonna go in with eyeliner, and this is the Tarte Cream Gel Eyeliner. I don't know, kind of confuses me. It's in a tube, but boy, oh boy, is this eyeliner amazing. I love it, and I kind of hold my breath when I do my eyeliner, so when I'm done, I'm so relieved that it's all done. Does anyone else feel the same way, or is that just me? I'm gonna prep my eyes a little tiny bit with mascara, and this is the Gifted Smart Amazonian Clay Tarte Mascara, and then go in with falsies, and these are the 120s by Ardell's, but I already have a false lash how-to video, so click right here, and now my lashes are on. Moving right along, I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer to highlight my face. This is my favorite right now. It is so amazing and so pigmented. This is the neutral shade and not the warm shade, and on my hand it is so dark, but on my face it is the perfect shade. So that is why I always say always, 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 always test on your face and never on your hand, you guys, because you will get the complete wrong shade, trust me. And I'm blending all this out with a beauty blender, of course, because it absorbs all the excess. And I'm going to be setting this with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, and I love setting this with the beauty blender as well, it just gives a flawless flawless, flawless finish to the skin. I'm gonna go in with that cranberry shade once again on that pencil brush and smudge that along the lower lash line. And then with a clean 217 brush, just smudge that out and make it nice and, you know, blended and soft. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of mascara to finish off the upper lashes and then load those bottom lashes up with mascara. I love the look of bottom lash mascara. It's not for everyone, but if you love it, you are hooked on it and you are addicted. I forgot the step before I put on my bottom mascara, but I'm gonna be rimming my waterline with a white eyeliner. Moving right along to the face, I'm gonna take this really cool brush by Tarte and the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, and I'm going to contour my cheekbones and I really give myself high cheekbones here because mine are pretty low and I want to raise my face so I'm also going to put this on my forehead to bring down my hairline because I kind of have you know kind of a big forehead so I'm gonna drag that down a little bit and then this brush has no product on it I'm just blending out you know the contour that I just applied then I'm gonna move on to highlight, and I've been loving doing my highlight before my blush. So I take it with a fan brush, and this is Soft and Gentle by MAC, and I play a play. Oh my gosh, what am I saying? I apply this to the tops of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, in between my eyebrows, and a little bit on my chin, because everyone says I have a really small chin, and I didn't notice until I started making YouTube videos, but I do. Then I'm gonna go in with Worldly Wealth by MAC. You guys, I've seen this amazing million times and a 109 and apply this to the apples. Moving right along to lips, I'm going to take this NYX lip liner in the shade Sand Pink and line my lips. This is a little bit too dark for the lip gloss that I'm using, but it does give my lips a lot of definition. And the lip gloss that I'm using is Sugar Pie by NYX, and it is my favorite right now. So that is the finished and completed look. I really hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and also don't forget to subscribe before you guys go. Thanks so, so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Hey guys, I'm Chris Sterling. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a makeup look that all of you guys are going to be obsessed with, and I know you're going to wear every day. Like, I'm not kidding. This is going to be your everyday summer makeup tutorial. Everyday go-to makeup routine. This is going to be it because you guys have been asking for this non-stop on my videos, on my Instagram. So, <laughs> okay, that sounded like super conceited up my own ass. But like for real, you guys have really been wanting to see this look and I'm super excited to show it to you guys because I have been wearing it every single day and I have been so obsessed with it. It is such a good look. It's glowy, bronzy, sexy, and it's like, you look sculpted, okay? It's just a really pretty, fun, summery look. It doesn't really come off my face. It stays on very well in the heat, very well. When I, I went swimming in this the other day, it stayed on. So all those people that are like, take her swimming on the first date, haha, <laughs> good try, this stays on. If you guys are new to my channel and want to subscribe, be sure to hit that button right down there, subscribe, join the Starling fam. 
And if you're ready to go, let's get on to the tutorial. Foundation has been changing like every day, but today I picked up the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. I like when my foundation gives me a tan because then I don't have to go outside in the sun and I don't have to get damaged by the sun. My skin stays nice and youthful and radiant and um, this is like self tanner for your face. So just give it a chance. Please give it a chance. This by the way is a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I love this brush. But yeah, this has been the makeup that I've been wearing in all of my Instagram pictures. It's like been my go-to makeup this past week. I have been like thriving this past week. I've had so much fun this past week and like I think it's just because I've stopped saying no to any opportunity that presents itself and I just started saying like, yeah, like let's do it. And because I've been like thriving and because I've been like doing so much stuff, I've been posting pictures because I actually have content to actually post now. I've been posting them and a lot of you guys have been asking for the makeup in them. I've been super into cream contour and I really think this is a huge key to why I've been looking so like sun-kissed lately because I'm not tan. It's I think it's really cream contour. So this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn. And honestly, the new Kim Kardashian West Beauty line has really inspired me to start cream contouring, but I didn't want to buy her products because I can already imagine exactly how they would be on my face. But I just feel like it would blend out so much that it would almost like disappear. But I've been seeing everyone cream contour, so the other day I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. When I did that, everybody was like, your makeup is amazing today. And I was like... Thank you so much. And then I'm going to take uh, just this It Cosmetics brush and a little bit of Fix Plus. Get that all up on there. Doing face makeup with hoops on is challenging. Oh, so I just blend this out and you can like see the difference of just how glowy it makes me look. And then on my nose, I just sort of pat it in because I don't really want to smear it all around. Concealer today, I'm going to use the NARS Creamy Concealer. This is in the shade Vanilla. Um, and concealer, I've just been using a little bit, especially when I do it after my cream contour. I don't really like to put on a lot of concealer. Have you guys heard French Montana's new album? Because it is so dope. You know that song, Hotel Bathroom? I'm, one, obsessed with it. But as soon as I heard it for the first time, I noticed that he says bathroom, not bathroom, he says bathroom. So now every time I hear the song, I kind of giggle a little bit because of the way he says bathroom. Does that mean? Because like I have a lisp too, so I totally get that like you can't help how you pronounce certain things. But I don't know, like it's, it's just kind of funny to me. Tell me you guys hear bath womb too because he definitely says bath womb. Whatever. Okay, now I'm going to go in and I'm going to set this before I start to crease. And this is the Too Faced Born This Way powder, loose powder. I really have been digging this powder lately. I think it just makes my skin look really flawless. And I'm only putting this where I concealed. Hotel bath womb. See how just matte that makes me? Like I'm just so mattified. And then I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever HD... Uh, powder foundation in the shade 155 and I'm just going to take that on this big powder brush and I just like to set wherever I put the cream contour with this. And I do go everywhere but I mostly set my under eyes with the translucent powder and this darker powder on my cream contour. This just keeps the dimension in my face. MAC sent me this brush the other day. It's the 140 S which I think means short handle. Um, but this is Hula Bronzer, but let me just like, can we just like look at this brush? I really love it for bronzer. So this is Hula, and I've just been going ham with the bronzer, okay? Like heavy hand on the bronzer is the way to go. This is how you get a tan without going out in the sun, okay? You don't have to sweat. You don't need to slick oil all over you. You can just get nice and tan with some makeup products. Now on to highlight. My favorite highlight in the summertime is Soft and Gentle by MAC. So I load this up on a Anastasia A23. I take Fix Plus and I spray it a little bit. And this gives me like that super whoa highlight that everyone is about that I never really was about. But something possessed me last week and I was like, I'm just going to go for it today. And um, I've been digging it. And I think this 
makes the look okay like this and my inner corner highlight and my lid color are the reason that you guys have been loving this look so much um sometimes i put blush on sometimes i don't if i do put on blush it's a little bit of orgasm by nars and i literally just like go like that that's it i don't like blush on me i think i look super weird in blush so and now I'm going to go in with my eye makeup and it's so simple and so easy. I did a look very similar to this last summer, but I changed it a little bit. But this is like pretty much like my summer go-to look. I'm going to go in with Hoola Bronzer by Benefit on a MAC 224 and just slide this in your crease right here. Make sure not to get it too high. Yesterday I got it a little bit too high on my left eye and it was not cute. I was kind of sad about it. And then hit it underneath your eye right here. Then I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Glow Kit in the Sun Dipped one. These are the colors, and I just use these two colors over here. So I take uh, a brush. This is from Crown. As you can see, it still has like the eyeshadow on it. So I take this shade right here, uh, Tourmaline, I guess. I don't really know. I get my brush nice and coated in that. Just wash this. Then I spray Fix Plus on it. You can use water, whatever you want. Look at how beautiful this color becomes. Oh my god. And I cut the crease like a little tiny bit with it, but like, oh, it's just so beautiful. Then I go in with um, just a little crease brush like this, and I go up right here and I take the shade called Bronze, and I just sort of toss this on the outer corner right here just to blend it in a little bit with Hoola. I keep it mostly on the lid just to give it a little gradient look right here. So I go in with A222 and this is a NYX shade in the shade Raven, just a black matte eyeshadow. Dip it in just a little bit. You really don't need a lot of black here. And I just toss this right here on the outer corner just to deepen it up. Just a little love touch, okay? Nothing too much. Then I go in with like the smaller defined brush and just buff that out. Kind of flick it out a little bit. Now what's ever left over on this brush, I bring underneath my eye. When I'm like just doing this look, I can get it done in about 15 to 20 minutes, which is really, really good for me. Like a full beat face in 20 minutes is really good. I'm going to go in with the with a smaller smudger brush and the same black shade. And I just toss it on my outer upper lash line. I leave the inner corner completely alone. I just sort of like the almond shape that it gives my eye. Then I'm going to go in with my inner corner highlight. So I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to go in with a MAC palette. This is one that I custom made. And I'm going to go in here with the shade Nylon, which is the best highlight color ever. It's amazing on its own, but I'm going to wet it for the inner corner. Fix Plus Water, whatever you use, is going to be your best one for this look. And then just, oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is truly what I came here for. And then I just take a little bit more on the brush and I put it right underneath the highest point of my brow. And then I go in with a little bit of black eyeliner to define my eyes. This is the Stingray Black Eyeliner by Sila Cosmetics and I just toss it in my waterline. So the mascaras today that I'm using are Benefit, They're Real, and Too Faced Better Than Sex. So eyes are done. And then for lips, I keep them in my wallet because this is where I do all my lip stuff. This combo has just been like, you know, you guys know I just, I pretty much only wear nude lips. It's what I'm super confident in, so I don't really like to wear anything else. So it's only nude for me. So this is the um, InSync Lip Liner by MAC. And I line my lips and fill them in. I know a lot of people don't like really nude liners because it just makes their lips disappear. But honestly, I don't really care that much. I just put it down for the color. And then I like to go in with this lip gloss by MAC in the shade Oyster Girl. I am obsessed with this. It is shiny, glossy. It has a little sparkle in it. It is just everything I could ever want in lip gloss. And I feel like when I put my lips on, the look is completed. And I also think it just makes my face match my body a little bit better. All right, starlings, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys all did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to give it a 
thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what other videos you guys want to see. If you're asking to see my last How I Became a Spin Instructor video, that is right here. And if you guys want to see my last makeup tutorial, that is right here. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you guys have been following me on Twitter, you know that I have been absolutely raving about Clinique makeup products. Recently, I have just been obsessed with their line. In my last tutorial, I asked you guys if you wanted to see like a one brand and pretty much every single comment was requesting a one brand. So today I'm going to do a makeup tutorial using all Clinique products and I'm really, really in love with their products. I think they are super high quality and they last all day long and they look absolutely beautiful on the skin. So actually this entire look is actually inspired by the Clinique lip products that are coming out in February and they have variation of tones and textures and shades which I think is really cool. And I did sort of like a Vixen inspired look so you can use this for like a winter ball if you are, you know go into a winter box. I know a lot of people have that this time of year. Um, any sort of dancing sort of look that you guys might want to do. Um, I know some dancers can use looks like this. So does anything sort of dramatic, dance themed, I think would be a really fun event to wear this to. Of course you guys don't have to wear this to a dance, but it's just sort of why I created the look and kind of the inspiration behind it. But you guys can obviously wear this to whatever occasion you want and please tweet me pictures if you guys try it all out. And also if you guys use any Clinique products, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite is because I'm going to have to run out and grab them because I am obsessed right now. So if you guys want to figure out how to get this look, then keep on watching. So starting off with the Clinique Even Better Makeup Foundation. I've been really, really loving this foundation lately. I apply this all over my face and this just really gives my skin a nice even look and it really evens out my complexion and I think the finish is absolutely beautiful. Now I'm going to go in with the Clinique Line Smoothing Concealer and I'm actually using this just to prime my eyelids. And this is just so that my eyeshadow doesn't crease and so that it lasts longer and also so that the colors just look a little bit more vibrant. And then I'll just be setting that with some powder and this is the Clinique Obviously Almost Powder Makeup. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous powder. It just smooths out wherever you put it and I just love the look of it on my skin. I'm a big fan of it. All right, now I'm gonna go in with this Clinique Eyeshadow Quad, and it's in the shade Going Steady, number 10, and we're gonna do a cut crease smoky eye today. So I'm gonna take this gray shadow, and I'm just going to lightly map out where I want my crease to be. Oops, sorry, I should probably turn off my phone. I'm just lightly mapping out where I want my new crease and then once I have the look that I like of the crease, I'm going to take this darker purple and just go right over top of that gray tone to blend it up and out towards my eyebrow. You want to blend up and not down. You definitely want to keep all these crease shadows above the new crease that we just made. It's going to look messy until you finish the look, so don't let that freak you out. It's okay if it looks sort of weird and alien-like. It really doesn't come together until the lashes and the brows go on, so just bear with me for a little bit. So just layer that purple right over top of that gray, and then after you have that darker purple, we're gonna go in with this lavender shade and just blend the top of that out so that it's all buffed and seamless. And this does get kind of light, and I also like to just have it nice and defined. So what I like to do is I like to go in with the cream shaper for the eyes in the shade Black Diamond and I just go right where I put that gray in the crease just to furthermore define it. And this is the layering process. If I were to do this step first, it could get kind of messy and it could be kind of hard to manage. So using the shadow first and then going in with the cream liner is definitely going to make it a lot easier. And then I'm just going to repeat the steps that I did. So I'm just going to put the gray shadow right over top of the black liner that we put down and then I'm going to put the purple over top of the gray to blend it up towards my brow and finally finish it off with that lavender shade blending up towards my brow. Now I'm just going to go in with this light pale pink shade. It's like a pinky pearlescent white and I'm putting this all over the lid just to furthermore define the crease and also make it stand out and give it a little kick of shimmer in there. It's absolutely beautiful. You can totally put a base down if you want. I just wanted to keep it light and airy by not putting a base down. I'm going to go back in with that cream eyeliner and here I'm going to make a cat eye and this is also where the look really begins to come together or the eyes really sort you know start to come together so I first just line my upper lash line with that cream eyeliner 
Then I grab a brush so that I could do the wing and have it very precise. So this is just an angled brush and I just grab the eyeliner that's on the brush and I just begin to make my wing by flicking it out and then connecting it from about the like 1 16th or like 15 16th marks of the wing. Does that make sense? And connect it back to my upper lash line. And that's just a really, really easy way to make a wing and it's using that um, pencil liner, but I'm just using it on a brush. And it's a very creamy, beautiful texture. I absolutely love this liner's formula and the blackness and the intenseness of it. But also just to amplify the crease a little bit more, I just sort of connect where the crease and the liner meet with the pencil one last time, blend it out with the gray, and finally again with the purple, and then my crease shadow is complete. Now I go back in with that line smoothing concealer and this is going to double as my highlight and it's also just going to clean up that shadow. So I just put this right underneath the brows and this is also why we didn't do the brows because you can see that I'm kind of being messy and just throwing it up into my brows. So that acts as a highlight but now I'm also going to go in and fill in my brows. Today I'm using the super fine liner for brows in the shade Deep Brown. This is a pencil. Um, I really like this formula. I think that it is very rich and creamy and easy easy to blend out and it also mimics the like or mimics the stroke of hairs which when I use a brow pencil is always what I look for so this passed my approval I really like it and now after my brows are done I'm gonna go in with the Clinique Chubby Lash Mascara and just throw this on my upper lashes to give them a little bit of something this mascara does make my eyelashes look really, really bomb and amazing, but I always like to go in with a little pair. So just slap on a pair of false eyelashes if you want, or you can keep it just with the mascara if you choose to. So whatever you guys want to do there, just do what you want. Now this is the All About Eyes Concealer. So this I'm putting specifically underneath my eyes. It's super high coverage, and it looks amazing on the under eyes, you guys. It doesn't crease. Um, if you set it, it doesn't crease, and it just is super high coverage, and it really brightens up that area. So I'm applying this underneath my eyes, and then because this is high coverage and kind of thick, I always like to switch it back to the Line Smoothing Concealer just to highlight the rest of my face so it's not cake face all over, um, because that concealer is so high coverage and so thick that you kind of have to be careful. This is the uh, Chubby Stick Sculpting Contour and Curvy Contour. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. I have not stopped using it since I got it. I contour cheekbones, forehead. Now I just go in and I blend this out with the foundation brush. It has a little leftover foundation on it, so it makes that chubby stick blend out absolutely beautifully. I also like to go in with a beauty blender to blend out my concealer and my nose contour as well. Then I go back in with that pressed powder, and this is in the shade Light, and I set anywhere that I highlighted with this, so underneath my eyes, on my nose, forehead, underneath my contour, chin, cupid's bow, you know, all the hot spots that we're trying to highlight here. And then I go in with the True Bronze Pressed Powder Bronza in the shade Sun Blushed, and this is a very warm tone. But for this look, I think it works since the eyes are rather cool and icy. I kind of wanted to warm up the face a little bit. So I'm just putting this wherever we put the chubby stick just to set that as well as give me additional warmth. Moving back to the eyes, I'm going to take that cream eyeliner and just line my waterline to make it nice and black and intense and also connect the false lashes to my upper lash line. Then I go back in with that gray tone shadow that we use and I smudge this down. These two blend and smudge together like a dream. They blend like no other. It is beautiful. I love the combo. I'm just so obsessed with the lower lash line. Just look at that. Look how beautiful it turned out. I don't think it could have came out any better. I just love how smoky this is and how sultry and it's just so beautiful. So I just love it. And then I go in with the Clinique Lower Lash Mascara. This is so bomb. I've been using this mascara for as long as I can remember. It's my go-to for my lower lashes. It just really finishes off the eyes. Going back to cheeks, I'm going to first highlight with this white shimmery shade and this is the defining pinks cheek contouring palette so like i said i'm just highlighting with that shimmery white and then i'm going to go back in and mix together the two pinks and put those on my cheeks just to give me a little bit of color i'm kind of going easy with the blush here so that i don't overpower the eyes so now time for the star of the show i'm going to go in with lips 
So the first thing that I'm going to go in with is this lip liner. And I'm first going to be lining my lips. And this is just really important just so that the lip products I'm about to use next will stay on my lips and just have a little base to go, you know, go into. And I'm also going to be contouring my lips just to make them look a little bit bigger. And then after that is on, I'm going to go in here with the Clinique Peace Pop lip color and primer. I love this, love this, love this. And also if you guys want to see anything else that's really cool, this um, lip look and this whole makeup look was actually inspired by the new interactive lip pop video from Clinique. I'm going to have a link to it down below and you guys can see how they bring their lip colors to life in four ways in an interactive music video. It's actually really, really cool and I highly, highly recommend you guys go check it out. I'll have a link to it down below. Thanks again so much all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. I definitely want to see your transformations and your recreations of this look. So please be sure to check out the link in the description box. I love you all so much, and I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video on this. You guys wanted a neutral brown-toned eye um, that you guys could wear every day using the Morphe 350 palette. It's just like an everyday eye. I know I'm going to get comments saying like, oh, my God, I look so the same. You guys really wanted this one um, in my last video where I did the Morphe, where I used the Morphe palette. Like, all of the comments were asking for this. So yeah, that's what I did. It's really, really simple. I think it's really pretty. Um, it flatters all skin tones, all eye shapes, all eye colors, everything. I think it's really gorgeous. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss any content. And uh, yeah, let's get started. To start, I'm going to use the First Day Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. I love this. I used this the other day. And I'm just like obsessed with it. I think it is so good. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes. This is Tarte Shape Tape. Everyone knows this by now. We need some Morphe 350 today because everyone has been wanting to see a brown neutral look with this palette, so that's what I'm gonna do today. To set it, I'm gonna go in here with this shade. And I'm going to put this all over from lid all the way up to my brow bone. It's such a huge pet peeve of mine when like, I'll watch a makeup video and people either don't set their base or they like only set from their crease to their brow bone. Like, ugh, set your lid. Does that make your lid like sticky? So I'm going to also explain my technique of how I do pretty much all my eye makeup looks because... I don't know if you guys have caught on, but they're all pretty much the same technique. It's just a variation of colors and where to put the colors. So the first thing that I always do is start off with a transition shade, and I always use a MAC 224 for this. And then I always pick a transition shade first, and your transition shade you want so that you can blend out your other colors. The first shade that I'm going to go in with here is this one right here. I also like to layer my transition shades just to give them a little bit of depth. I think that works out pretty well. I mean, for some people, this shade is literally going to be like their base color, but because I'm pale again, this could work as a transition shade for me. And a transition shade is just something that's light and normally neutral. Then I'm going to dip into this shade right here. Now, this is a warm toned brown. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. Um, this is a cool toned brown, and this is a warm toned brown. See how this one is like much more orange and this one is much more gray but the more you do it the more you'll be able to um, pick out what tones are what and how they work with one another that's a question I get a lot is like you know how do you know what colors will work well with one another once you look at tones you can see what their undertones are so I normally like to do crease first, lid, outer corner, and then I just buff it all together. So for this today, I'm going to go in here with this shade, Who's Surprised? I've been dying to dip into this. And this I'm really keeping on the inner half. Then I always go back in and just, see how there's like a little line right there? I just like to soften that. I'm going to go in here with a MAC 217. Mine is dirty because I'm dirty. And then I'm going to take this brown. I'm going to work this in. Work it, honey. I'm going to work this in the outer corner. 
I'm gonna mix this shade with this shade. All right, for my foundation time, I'm going to use this. This is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil Free Makeup in the shade Nude. My skin is acting out, and I'm just in the mood to use a different foundation than I normally do. So that's why we're going to use this. Okay, this was a, like a little bit lighter than I was going for, so I'm actually going to darken it up a little bit. To darken this up, I'm going to take the Duda Hula by Benefit, and this just darkens me up a little bit. And I'm just going to put this where I would bronze my face. Alright, that looks a little bit better. I look a little more like alive now. For concealer, I'm going to go in with the NARS Creamy Concealer. I don't want to go overboard with this because I don't want to make myself look too pale. Um, but I already think I'm going overboard, so that's good. And then to set everything, I'm going to use the RCMA No Color Powder and I use the Sigma F35 Tapered Highlighting Brush. And then I'm gonna really go back in and warm myself up here with the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. The Do The Hula, I mean, obviously you guys probably would have guessed this, but the Do The Hula on top of Hula Bronzer is like everything. I don't, it is so pretty. It's like the best thing ever. When everything like feels like it's going to shit, I'm like, just wait. Once my bronzer gets on, I'll be good. And then who remembers this blush, Stereo Rose by MAC? It was like literally like my life. So I brought it out today to play because I want to be a little youthful. Let's move down to the lower lash line. I'm just going to keep it pretty simple today. The brown that we used on the outer corner. And just smudge that below. Just this one shade. For eyeliner on my lower lash line, I'm on my lower waterline, I should say. This is the Urban Decay Glide On in Corrupt. Um, and then for my inner corner, I'm going to take the white that we initially used and just throw that in there. Like the white that we used to set our um, concealer with in the beginning. Okay, I'm going to do my mascara, throw on some lashes, and then um, put on lips, and I will be right back. So that is it. Um, yeah, it's literally like several, several hours later. Like, it's seriously, like, I think I got done some of this at 9.20 or something. It's now 11.36. So, yeah, I ate some oatmeal. I watched a lot of Charles Gross videos, and I literally spent an hour getting ready. I had, like, three different outfits on. And I still don't like what I'm wearing, but it's like, I'm in like a crisis with my clothes right now. I just, I don't know what I'm into with my clothes. No, I, it's Jeffree Star mannequin on my lips with a little bit of Marc Jacobs Moon Glow lip gloss over it. So that's what I'm wearing um, on my lips. And then my lashes are Ardell 120s. And that was it. That's the only thing that uh, has changed since I left. Um, yeah, so that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to 
my channel. So today I am bringing you my first ever one brand makeup tutorial, which is crazy that like the four, three plus years that I've been on YouTube, I've never done a one brand. So in honor of it being my first ever one brand, this idea was actually brought to you by your local Walmart. I'm just kidding. This is not sponsored. Um, this was actually a collab with one of my good friends here on YouTube. Her name is Hannah. I'm going to have her channel linked down below. It is really, really amazing. She posts a lot of lifestyle, beauty, makeup videos. Just like, you know, the good package all in one is her channel. So she's great. We thought that these videos did so well on her channel, but we're like, hey, let's, you know, collab on it. Also, it's a great way to bring it onto my channel. So if you guys like these one brand tutorials, let me know. Give it a thumbs up. And yeah, so this is all using MAC makeup. If you guys are coming here from Hannah's channel, hi, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Tori. I really hope I'm going to steal Danielle Marie's line. I really hope you stick around. Um, if you guys do, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, if you guys want like bloopers, behind the scenes, you know, what happened during this video, be sure to check my um, website because I have like behind the scenes this video and it's actually really entertaining like they're one of my favorite blog posts to write so go check that out but I'm gonna stop rambling and let's get on to the video hi hi so let's ignore the fact that I have mascara on and get on with the tutorial so I'm spritzing my brush with some fix plus and applying Mac face and body all over my face this brush is, oh gosh, it's Coastal Scents, but I love it. It literally blends out the foundation for me. But I thought it was kind of just sitting on my face, so I went in with a sibling brush to blend it out and not make it so shiny. So once that's done, I moved on to priming my eyelids. And, you know, I have, like, paint pots and stuff, but I just have been on this rampage of using concealer and just setting it with powder. Is rampage the white, right word? Not white, right word. I don't really think so. Anyway, moving on to um, like a base. This is Rich Ground Fluid Line by MAC. And I'm putting it all over my lid and into my crease a little bit. And then blending it out with a synthetic blending brush. This can be super, super messy, guys. It really doesn't matter. In fact, I'm even smudging it all along my lower lash line and blending that out to make it that much more messy. This is like a cleaned up grunge fall look. So like kind of think fall, kind of think grunge, but kind of think like full beat. You know what I mean? So now I'm going to go in with the shade Mulch by MAC. This is such a beautiful shade. I don't know why I ever stopped using this, but I'm applying this all over the lid and then I'm going to go in with Wedge by MAC, which is a matte shade. And I'm doing my transition shade third which is so weird but I'm doing it and blending it out as you can see it's kind of hard in the beginning to work with but you just keep blending it and it gets flawlessly blended out satin taupe another goodie I love 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 the shade and I'm really just focusing this on the outer third of the eye lid corner crease super messy just really focusing that there and deepening it up with a black this isn't carbon I think this is smut by MAC, um, but you can use carbon, you can use a gray, just any darker shade and really just focus that on like the outer corner of your crease and um, lid. Lower lash line is layering mulch and then satin taupe on the outer third. So again, just super messy, just kind of do what we did on the lid on the lower lash line. And this is a gray coal liner. I'm drawing a blank on the name. I want to say Slate, but I don't think that's the name. Anyway, just a gray or black, whatever you guys want. I'm just lining this in my waterline. I wanted to add a pop of pink. I don't know why, but this is mythology, and I really like it. It's kind of like a fun little pop to the look. It's pretty. This is Studio Finish Concealer. I recently have fallen back in love with this. This is in the shade N. W20, and I'm using this to sharpen up the shadows and make them more precise again and kind of clean the look up because it's very messy. And also without my eyebrows on, it looks super weird. And I also put this on the inner corner to help blend out that because it really did get in a little bit too far, farther than I wanted it to go in anyway. And setting it with a powder. This is Fix, no sorry, this is Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Natural. And then, of course, you know, just highlighting nose, Cupid's bow, chin, in between the eyebrows slash on the forehead, you know the drill. And, of course, setting that with my Real Techniques setting brush. 
Are the brushes supposed to be MAC too? Because that's hard if it is. Okay, maybe one brand tutorials aren't as easy as I thought. Anyway, moving right along, I'm gonna go and do my eyebrows backwards. I'm carving out my eyebrows first and then setting it with Blanc type, which is a white eyeshadow. It's kind of like white and cream. And I like how it turned out. Um, now, I didn't like my eyebrows particularly because the coloring was a little bit too light, but I'm underlining them and defining the arch of them with a pencil. This is in the shade Lingering. I got this when I had blonde hair, and it's way too light for my dark hair, so I went in with Espresso, which is a shadow, but I don't like filling my brows in with shadow, but for the purpose of the tutorial, it's all that I had, so, you know, I went with it. And then I just put floof on the inner corner, and this really was the thing that changed the look for me. This is what made it what I love about this, which is like super dark, vampy, messy on the lids and on the lower lash line, and then a super bright inner corner. This is also the day that the Snapchat update came out, so please excuse me. I'm um, applying quick coats of mascara, but that doesn't matter because I'm going in with falsies. Back to the Snapchat update. It is so addicting. What's your favorite one? Let me know in the comments down below. Mine's probably the crying one. I think that one is so cute. Here I'm just going in and applying Ardell Wispies, my fave, you know, moving right along to the face. We are transitioning the face. This is Baby Don't Go Blush by MAC. I am slathering this everywhere on my face. This is our transition shade for our contour. Oh my gosh, I would be lost without this shade. I don't know what I would do. I, oh my God, look at that warmth it gives you. Oh, just that glow. And then everyone hated my contour in my last video, so I wanted to please you guys this time. So I'm going in with Wedge, which is more of like an ashier color, and contouring. It's an eyeshadow just because I don't really have a contouring shade from MAC, so I'm just going in with an eyeshadow. You know, gotta improvise. I realized that I didn't want blush, and I'm just going to highlight. And this is Porcelain Pink by MAC. Discontinued, but it is still available on Ebay's, Amazon, and CCO. So it's very easy to get your hands on. And, you know, just applying that everywhere. And this is when I started feeling myself because I loved this after the highlight went on. Ooh. Onto the lips. Lining them with Boldly Bare by MAC. Of course, it's by MAC. You guys can, you know, not be extra and just fill your lips in with this. And that'd totally be beautiful. But I just kind of wanted to use the shade that I haven't used in a while. It's called Velvet Teddy. Very, very pretty. It's a matte shade. Kind of matches Boldly Bare perfectly. So you really don't need to do this. But you know me. And cleaning it up with a little bit of concealer. And then you are all done. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. Comment down below your favorite favorite Snapchat update filter thingy and be sure to check out the website for any bloopers there's a ton and be sure to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys next time love you all so much bye